Yo, man, it's like a dang spaceship up in here, man! I don't know these controls! Hey, what's up guys, Winnie Gore here, and this is my Battlefield 4 Scout Helicopter gameplay. I've got a few minutes for you guys, hope you enjoy it. Um, the little animation I did at the beginning there is just something that I'm trying out on my channel. Basically, that was to try and describe what it was like for me trying to fly the Battlefield 4 Scout Helicopters compared to the Battlefield 3 ones. The controls were quite different in that you had a lot more manoeuvrability and there were also some outside effects such as the weather which makes you basically shake a bit when you're stormy, it'll be blowing you left and right. You also have the gyro stabiliser here which basically when you're on fire, as you'll remember in Battlefield 3 you don't have a lot of control over the helicopter, but this basically stabilises it so you can retain that control when you're on fire. I'm using the Automatic Adaptive Camo at the moment, I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay, please leave a rating and obviously subscribe for more Battlefield 4 content and I'll see you guys next time. Helicopter spotted. Over. Enemy machine gunner spotted. Over. The bomb is spotted. Enemy soldier spotted. Over.
Enemy soldiers crossing over. Enemy machine gun spotted. Over. So that's it for the video, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. The scout helicopter was quite hard to get used to at first, um, it had a lot more manoeuvrability as I said earlier in the video, um, so it was quite a lot of fun to get used to once I did get used to that manoeuvrability, because you're able to play around a lot more, you can make tighter turns, which should make the air combat a bit more entertaining. That's basically it for me, make sure to stay tuned for my assault class, support class and engineer class gameplay. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.